All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the expanded lobby mod for Schedule 1, because right now it accepts four players total in one lobby, but this will allow you to have up to 16, and this is the More Players IL-2 CPP Multiplayer Lobby Mod, and this mod is going to require us to not only have the mod itself, in the form of a DLL file, but we also need to grab the melon loader mod on top of that to make it all work by grabbing it from the melonwiki.xyz page. So the first thing I'm gonna do to install this is I'm gonna download the main mod file that we want here, the more players IL2 CPP multiplayer lobby mod. I'm gonna go to do a manual download It'll remind me that I need Melon Loader, which we'll get here in a sec. And I'm going to download this file into my downloads in a Schedule 1 folder that I've already got set up. And then I will just plunk it right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Melon Loader website, which has a funny little melon cartoon character. I'm going to click Get Started. Now, the one thing to keep in mind here is the requirements require you to have the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019 uh, installed on your computer. I know I have this, but if you're not sure, you can grab the 64-bit version right up here if necessary. Otherwise, I'm going to download the installer for Windows. There's also one for Linux. Uh, unfortunately, there is none for Mac. I don't even know if Schedule 1 runs on Mac. But we're going to save this low installer to the same modding folder. All right, so the first thing we got to do is install Melon Launcher or the Melon Loader. So we're just going to double click the Melon Loader installer. And then this is going to go ahead and scan our computer for all of the different like qualifying games that it can be loaded into. And we want to just find Schedule 1 on this list, click it, and then click Install. We don't want nightly builds. And it should be on whatever the latest version of the installer is. That way it's using the latest version so we don't have any errors or bugs. Or at least less of them. And then we're going to click install. And then it'll download all the necessary files. And then you should be good to go. Now if for whatever reason you need to uninstall Melon Loader, all you have to do is double click it again and run it again like it's a regular program installer. Find your game in this list. In this case, I'm going to grab Schedule 1. It's at the top because it's installed there. And then you have the option to keep mods and settings when you uninstall it. And then all you have to do is click the uninstall button. Um, I would probably not keep the mods and settings. Well, maybe the settings, but I guess you don't have the choice to separate those. But then you just click uninstall and it removes itself automatically. So you don't have to reinstall Schedule 1 and you also don't have to like hunt around and pick apart the game files to try to find it. Uh, so from there, all we have to do is extract the more players lobby mod. I'm just going to put it to a file of the same name to keep things tidy. And then inside of here, there's just a single DLL file. We're going to click that, right click it, and copy it. And then I'm going to open up Steam so I can be lazy. I'm going to find Schedule 1 down here. Right click it, go to manage, browse local files, and here at the top is a folder that was created by the Melon Launcher where we paste this into here and then boom, that's it. That's all you gotta do. The mod is installed and now you can have up to 16 people in your lobby at one time. Do note that when you're modding Schedule 1, everybody needs to have the exact same set of mods or else it will say that there is a version mismatch and it will not allow them to load into your lobby. For best uh, performance and stuff, uh, if you have a group of people that you're going to play with, invite them all to the lobby before you launch the multiplayer session. That way everyone typically loads in a little bit better than if you just start the session and people load in one by one by joining off of you from their Steam friends list. So that'll be it from this one, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to delete this at any time, all you have to do is go into this mods folder, right click it, and then click delete. And that's basically it. 
So enjoy playing with up to 16 people. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. And if you're curious, you don't have to do anything special to load Schedule 1 to load the melon loader. It just happens automatically when you click play.